New luggage for this trip, all pink. It's so cute, but I need to start packing, guys. We are leaving it tomorrow morning, bright and early. I'm so excited to bring you guys along with me. I just wanted to pop on and just make an intro to this whole series because in the morning, I'm just gonna get out of bed and like shoot out. I wanna at least have my makeup on and greet you guys. Essentially, when you are watching, it should be the 1st of November. Currently, right now, it's the 24th of September, but every single day in November, you're gonna be seeing my face. I'm gonna be uploading every single day this month and it's all gonna be related to my solo Tokyo trip. It's gonna be daily vlogs, hauls, just any Japan related content I'm gonna be uploading every day. Yeah, no, editing Judy here. It's not going to be every day in November. I think I just overestimated myself thinking I could get a lot of content. Filming and traveling solo is much harder. Just getting the content done. So it's going to be be about 18 days which is still a lot you're still gonna be seeing me a lot don't get sick of me but it's not my initial plan of you know uploading every single day something like vlogmas but you're still gonna get a lot of content from me this month so i hope you'll enjoy i want you guys to feel like you're coming with me and i honestly don't know what to expect i've been to tokyo before twice but i've never been on a international solo trip and it's also the first time me traveling since 2018. i'm actually so nervous like i wasn't nervous last week but i think this week it was like really kicking in that like girl you're going and this week has been so stressful just like family things and i had to get done a lot of work but i'm really glad that i'm doing this for myself and i'm really excited and i hope you guys are excited please don't get sick of me because you're going to be seeing me every day i hope you guys will join along on my solo trip it's technically not a solo trip because you guys are going to be there with me but yeah girl i need to pack because right now it's almost 5 p.m I have to leave at 5.30 in the morning, less than 12 hours, and I have not packed. These, these are empty. Guys, I had to pull these two luggages at the train station and I was like, I should have just took a taxi, but I wanted to save $18. But next time I'm taking a taxi because there's no way I'm lifting this again. I'm like sweating, but we're finally here, guys. I can't even believe it. I'll give you guys a quick room tour. It's going to be a quick one because this room is literally just a room. Like there's not much to it, which is fine. It's all I really need. But yeah, I always like to unpack first thing. I am gonna go to 7-Eleven and just grab dinner, gonna shower. I feel so gross and I cannot wait to wash my hair. But let me show you around first. <laughs> all right, so starting at the door, we have a mirror. This is my airport outfit that is soaked in sweat now. Let's have a look at the toilet. I haven't looked at the toilet yet. Oh, that's nice. That's actually quite big, to be honest. So we have a bathtub, shower, okay we got shampoo, nice, Head, yep, shampoo, okay, what I need, nice mirror here, toilet, love it, um, some things over here for your shoes, hanging your clothes, then we come here, we got a little table, I can eat here, we have our TV, by the way, I'm staying at Coco Hotel in Ginza. It's actually really clean, but I will give you an update on how I feel when I check out. And actually, there is kind of like a window. Let's see the view. Oh, yes, that's actually quite nice. I thought I wasn't going to be getting a view at all from the photos. It looked like there wasn't anything, but I'm happy with that. And then here is my bed. It's pretty big and spacious. Got pajamas. Thank you so much. And then over here, got our bedside table safe and then over here we've got a little kettle oh i'm gonna make some green tea fridge chair vanity and that is essentially the room i don't even know where i'm gonna put my suitcase like where is my huge ass suitcase gonna fit 
in this tiny room maybe along here so this is going to be my home for the next 11 days i'm so excited to be here it just feels like i never left it's so crazy but i'm so excited i just need to shower wash my hair freshen up eat some food and unpack and then start fresh tomorrow i really did not vlog um when i landed because guys it was <laughs> Can you see? I'm like so oily, but it was it was a mission. Okay, first thing, I was more at the back of the plane, so I came out a bit later and I got to baggage claim towards the end of the pack. And I saw my luggage like right away. I ran up to it and I picked it up and I was like, wait, it has a tag on it. This is not mine. What are the odds that someone has the exact same luggage size color on the same plane as me? But it wasn't mine because it had a tag on it. And then I asked the guy, I was like, is this all the baggage? Because... I think she might have taken mine thinking it was hers because I'm not seeing mine and guys I was low-key inside panicking but they were so quick one of the girls she like ran to go get the luggage and the other guy was on the walkie-talkie and they got my luggage back I don't know what happened to the girl what she did but like they got my luggage back for me like the efficiency and service and kindness here is just Oh, what a way to start the trip, but yeah at the airport. I got my sim card So I have Wi-Fi and then I got the Pasmo card because guys, let me show you So if you are traveling to Japan, you can either get the Suica or Pasmo and I got Pasmo because It's Hello Kitty. So what's different about this is that it doesn't last forever So when you come back, you can't use it. This only lasts 28 days, I believe um, but it's Sanrio I like it. But yeah, that was just like my airport story um, I'm gonna combine today and tomorrow into one vlog since today was more just traveling. But yeah, let's head to 7-Eleven and then we can shower and unpack. I'm already doing a bad job of vlogging because I did not vlog when I went to 7-Eleven. But anyway, this is the haul. So basic, just got water for the room. I'm gonna need that. And then for my drink for tonight, I decided to go for this one. Uh, apple squash. It looks like an apple fizzy drink and I need something fizzy right now. I was gonna get like a beer or something but I forgot my passport so I don't know if they were gonna check my ID or not. And then I decided to get UFO noodles because these were my favorite last time I came and I want to try more food um, but you know it's my first day. I'm tired. I just need something quick and easy. I saw a girl on TikTok say that these are really good. And especially if you eat them frozen so they're supposed to like mimic a grape so i got this one i think this is like a pear flavor and then i got the purple grape flavor so i might have some here or i'm gonna bring it back for harry and my nephew as souvenirs and then i also saw this one piece thing it's like a mystery egg and i was like okay why not oh who is it oh no I got black beard. I don't like black beard. That is the keychain. It's actually really cute. Imagine if I got Zoro or Luffy or any of the Straw Hat crew chopper. That would be really cute. Mm. Oh. I wish it was a little bit more fizzy, but it's like really sweet. Like the apple flavor is like really there. Mmm. This is what I needed. Also with this um, hotel, guys, I forgot to mention at the reception, they have like a little amenities corner so you can pick whatever you want and I took a bunch of green tea because I love a green tea and I'll probably just have it in the morning while I'm getting ready. Oh, I also got this as well for dessert tonight. Crunch. So with that being said, let's make this ramen. You can tell today has been a long day because I realized that there is no utensils in this room and the noodles didn't come with like a fork or anything. So I had to head back down to 7-Eleven, which is like not that far. It's like literally across the road, like literally. Um, but I did peel off the whole thing when I wasn't supposed to because I'm supposed to drain the noodles. Um, but good news is that downstairs there's an ice machine. So I'm going to have ice with my apple juice and these are my chopsticks i know i should wash it but literally i'm not going to okay i think i might just add in the seasoning yeah today's just it's not gonna be you know we're not off to a perfect start i'm sweaty just want to shower just want to unpack tomorrow will be a good day but for now i'm just gonna enjoy my soupy noodles 
that's supposed to be dry. I even bought the wrong um, adapter, okay? Tell me why I bought the wrong adapter. I can't even find it right now because I'm a mess. Uh, but luckily they had the right adapter, so that's good. I don't need to buy one, but oh man, I need a drink. Oh, I should have bought a beer or something. This juice ain't cutting it, but it's okay. I have my ice. I know Harry would love this. It's like so sweet, so apple. Another thing is that I can't watch my master chef, I think, because my location has changed. And I can't watch my country roll, I also think, because my country has changed. So I can only watch YouTube. And surprisingly, I don't watch a lot of YouTube anymore. I like to watch shows. Oh, you know what? I'll watch Running Man. Surely this will work here. I always have to watch something when I'm eating, like literally. Mm. Mm. Honestly, even though that this is, you know, a little bit more soggy, it's still so good. I am realizing now though that this is like a really big portion. I don't know if I can finish it. Oh, you know what would be great if I had kimchi. Mm. Good morning guys! It is officially day one here in Tokyo. I'm so excited. I'm feeling like myself again, looking like myself. Yesterday was such a long day. I didn't realize I was actually up for like 24 hours. Pretty much no sleep because I didn't really sleep on the plane. And then this morning I woke up around 4.30 so I only got 4 hours of sleep. I don't know how I'm functioning right now but I really don't feel tired at all honestly. But it was hard to cover up my under eye bags this morning. But I think it's just that first day adrenaline you're like not tired at all but i will grab a coffee or a matcha today is going to be a pretty chill day um i just want to hang around ginza because that's where the hotel is just explore the neighborhood a little bit i want to go uniqlo as well because i think the biggest uniqlo is in ginza so and it's right by this hotel so it's not so far at all but we're also going to go shibuya sky as well i'm going to be meeting up with a friend her name is jean she lives here in tokyo and she has sent me a lot of japanese Makeup. So that's where I've mentioned her, but I'm excited to meet her. You're gonna see her a lot in the vlogs actually because we have a few things planned together um, And she also does have a YouTube channel as well So I'm gonna link it down below, but I'm excited to meet her So yeah, that's kind of like my plan for the day my little rundown I kind of have to write everything on my phone just because I have to remember to vlog for you guys my YouTube um, And then also for TikTok as well. So I'm like back and forth back and forth i hope i can remember to do everything so yeah with that being said let's go on my first solo day <laughs> just wanted to give you guys a heads up for the next few clips because it's a pretty big jump from the overall vibe from the first half of the vlog because the next few clips I'm very emotional, I'm crying because something happened at our dinner and I filmed the next few clips 
two hours after the situation so I was very shaken up you know nobody really wants to put a video on the internet of them crying being so vulnerable and emotional I don't think anybody wants that online but I do think it is just part of solo traveling things can happen sometimes you can be at the wrong place at the wrong time which I do feel like the situation was a bit of that and I just wanted to add it in because I feel like it was just part of my trip like that was just supposed to happen I just want you guys to know I'm okay now I can admit where I was wrong but I did my part in that situation and it escalated to what it should not but yeah I just wanted to give you guys a warning because yeah even for me it's a little hard to watch um, just because I was just so so emotional about it. Just keep in mind it's my first day on my solo trip I'm getting my period the next day. I'm on no sleep. Just a lot of emotions. A lot of emotions. You guys can skip over this part. Feel free to. I'll see you tomorrow. Honestly, if you skip it like thank you <laughs> but uh, if you do decide to watch just know like I'm very... That's the only word I can say emotional. I look like a mess again. I just called Harry and I just told my friends about the situation so I do feel a bit better now and I'm still a little emotional about it. So as you can probably see from the few clips that I got from Shibuya Sky, it was my first time meeting Jean which I now know she goes by Ren more in Japan so I'm gonna call her Ren now. But yeah we went Shibuya Sky, it was fun, it was great to know her, we went to go grab dinner afterwards, we went to get Shabu Shabu in Shibuya and you know when I'm vlogging I'm always thinking about you guys and I want to make my vlogs as interesting as possible so you know I wanted to get a different angle of me and Ren having dinner together so I put the camera a little bit far you could say maybe like a table away just on a different angle and it was on a little tripod it's on my G7X and it was just pointing at me and Jean at our table but I understand from a different point of view it can't look like you know you're in the shot when I film I always try my best to not let anyone in I went to go grab my camera um, and he was getting upset um, because he thought he was in the shot and I was like okay I'm sorry I made you uncomfortable I will delete the footage so I delete it in front of him he just kept saying like you know you know you can't film like that you can't get other people in and I was just like I'm so sorry like I won't do that again you know and I'm really conscious of what I'm Filming. The police ended up getting involved in everything and we just came to a solution and I just wanted to let you guys know like just be extra cautious and I know I'm being a little bit vague about the situation but I was really scared because he really wanted me to delete everything off my SD card and like reboot my whole card like that's just how intensely he felt about it. The moral of the story is to be very cautious of what you are filming, who's in the background and everything. I was already very cautious but now after this I'm just gonna be even more cautious because guys if Jean wasn't with me I don't know what I would do like honestly like I I'm sorry to leave it on a sad note and I feel like I didn't really get that much footage from today. I hope today's vlog was like okay to watch. Oh, that makes me so sad. I'm supposed to be getting my period today or tomorrow so I feel like the tears are just not stopping but I'll see you guys tomorrow. I will feel brand new so I hope you guys will join along and I'll see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.